And we're back for the finals. We'll keep this. It's it's like not the fastest hand ever, but um, I think we have like some pretty good resiliency. Playing as Abzan. So I think we're just gonna scry here. Put this on top, I think it's gonna be good enough. Um, this type of hand. Thoughtseize, okay. So we're probably gonna take our walker. Depending on what he has. I'm guessing he takes the walker here. Oh, he takes P and Karen. Sorry, I'm just getting ready for work because I have to be out of here by basically like 240 or something like that. Right now it's like 217, so we gotta win this one quick. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna play our hanging back walker. And pass. Let's play a chief here. Attack for two. Siege Rhino, language, okay. Cast this, Ghost Fire Blade, Equip Ghost Fire Blade, so let's play another Ghost Fire Blade. Maybe just huddling up Stoke the Flames and Stoking him is better there than playing, um, Cheap, but it forces him to languish, and I don't know. I think I'm okay with that. Having these two ghost fire blades can be very good against him because um, they do invalidate a lot of his removal because it makes any threat, like any stupid little ornithopter, good. So I think I just want to stoke his courser here, um, because he's missing land drops, and we don't want him to gain any more life. So he's got to again, which seemed pretty bad against us. Maybe miss a land drop this turn. He's gonna miss a land drop this like this turn as well. Here, I think I'm just going to equip the Ornithopter. Let's see what he does.
And just to be language proof, I'm just gonna sell up everything on there. Put this to the bottom. So you probably removed spell for this ornithopter. I'd be very surprised if you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna equip our ghost fire blades onto this thing. So it can't get languished. And so it's a lethal attacker next turn. I think we just want to play. I think we want to play both of them. Yeah. Damn protector. This is so annoying. <laughs> there. Now I think we attack with everything. Because he has to jump here. This is a removal spell, but like a bile blight that makes this bad. You can go to cast already though. You can buy something he could have. But he's gonna take one off of it. So we didn't have bio blight. Maybe. He's thinking a little too hard. So maybe he's gonna like bio blight this, trade with this, like eat this. Still takes five, goes to two, we lose the revoker. One goes to six and four. I think he has a bio blight. Don't think he'd really be thinking about maybe a he would have Valor stance this if he had it. Yeah, all right. 
So now we gotta finish this last game pretty fast. So we want the revoke, the roasts. I don't know if we want Syrian Bloods, we probably want Negates for Tragic Arrogance. And Rose for Siege Rhinos. We probably don't want. Herbac Walker seem fine, Rose seem fine. Chiefs are probably pretty bad, Revokers are probably pretty bad. Yeah, this configuration seems fine. It's possible you just want to go on like the um, burn plan against him because he has things like Tragic Arrogance, so we want to like just try and burn him out. Instead of going wide. This dude's gotta hurry up. So we gotta go to work. <laughs> gotta check people in, <laughs> check people out. DJW. Looks like our opponent is ready. We're ready as well. We can keep something like this, I think. We have a couple of Scry lands to help us find our good cards, and the Scry lands have been much better than the Gain lands. I tried this deck out when, with just the Gain lands, and it was just so bad. The Scry lands are just so much better. I went to five. We should be able to grind out these hanger back walkers. Put this in the bottom. We have enough lands. Looks like he's missing green mana. Just get for us. Green mana, good for him. So I think I, I think I would do want to level this up. So I think I want to play Spring Leap Drum. Play Hanger Back Walker. I mean, he used this hanger back walker to level up this one. This is a pretty good draw. So I'm try to try and caves. Next turn. And for two. Scry. Basically putting all the lands on the bottom. Um, yeah, that's cards. We're gonna, the Ghost Fire Blades are fine because we're going to play P and Kieran and get a bunch of Thopters, and the Ghost Fire Blades are going to be pretty sweet. I'm just gonna play. Let's 
to two Ghost Fire Blades so we can um, equip Pian, Kieran, and Lar if we have to. He's probably going to draw two cards with Absent Charm this turn. So let's attack first, see what he does. And I think I'm just going to pass with the thought of um, sacking something if he ever um, does anything. Elspeth. Drown and Sara. Alright, so. It's pretty good. I can abstract and charm one of these. I'll just equip this thing on here so. He's at a pretty low life total. So we should be able to, should be able to burn him out this game. One thing playing the Ghost Fire Blade does is it means we lose to Elspeth on this board, which kind of sucks. But I think he took his Elspeths out. That's one thing I didn't consider of equipping it. I was thinking more if they had like more wrath effects. Nice is that too. Hopefully just concedes here to our 5-5. Five five. And we won another night, man. Sweet. Time to go to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, this deck is really sweet. Uh, we can crush 8-mans. We lose in dailies, though, which is really weird. But I, I'm sure we'll start crushing dailies soon. Um, Thanks for watching. If you go to David J. Witchell for an appointment, I'll see you there. <laughs> Later. Have a great day, guys.